good afternoon i hope and i believe all of you are doing well so welcome to this uh, youtube live session where we are going to discuss the top 10 alphabet signs in radiology a uh, quick nod whether i am audible and visible all right i can see yes the audio visual is all good uh, so what are we going to discuss in the today's session is the top 10 alphabet signs in radiology so the alphabet signs like the uh, h sign the delta sign lambda sign t sign v sign so basically we are going to see alphabet based signs in radiology i have chosen the important ones uh, which are important for our exam all right a quick update for everyone who's new here we are launching the previous year question bank it has been updated partially the rest would be updated soon and it will have the last three years papers of neat pg inict and fmg all of that would be included uh, even fmg papers would be there with the solutions we are also launching the doubt clarification series where uh, you will have dedicated sessions this is for the plus iconic subscribers dedicated sessions for clarifying your doubt you know as the exam is approaching if you have any doubts related to any question any question you saw in the mock test in the grand test anything that would be uh, basically catered to and this will start from april 6 and we are also launching the mbbs prof 1 course uh we are also launching the mbbs prof 1 course uh, to help in the university exams and also targeting the next exam now the new batches for the uh, revision for both neat pg and iict are starting on march 30th it's one and a half month batch and there are going to be grand test which are going to be there fortnightly or weekly plus you will get access to question bank everything would be there if you miss a live class you can watch the recorded class as well same thing is for fmg 2022 we are starting with the two months revision batch starting on march 30th uh, that is day after tomorrow all right and whenever you are subscribing to the platform now you have the light subscription also so if you need the pyq uh, if you just need the test series or the question bank you can take the light subscription for the immediate months two months and uh, otherwise you have plus and iconic subscription which are available all right and if you use the code dr nikita it gives you additional uh, 10% off as well So, starting with the discussion of the top ten alphabet-based signs, a quick update to everyone. Uh, the next special class we'll be having on the Academy app on second of April directly. Okay, so the next special class would be on second April. Okay, all right. Starting with the first one, what do you think is the sign which is depicted here? What sign is depicted here? So we are on the alphabet signs. a quick revision of the important signs so the sign that we are seeing here basically this is the contrast enhanced ct and we see that there is this triangle triangle is called as delta and that delta is empty so this is called as empty delta sign okay this is called as empty delta sign so we are seeing the greek letters also the greek alphabets also empty delta sign is a sign seen in contrast in hans city in case of dural venous sinus thrombosis okay it is seen in case of dural venous sinus thrombosis so basically it's only the wall which enhances because of the thrombus there is the filling defect in the dural venous sinus right so that is the empty delta sign okay empty delta sign dural venous sinus thrombosis remember that the venous infarct is generally presents as hemorrhagic infarct okay it generally presents as hemorrhagic infarct in contrast to your ischemic the arterial infarct the venous infarcts are generally hemorrhagic first sign going to the next one what sign is depicted here what do you think what sign is depicted here So 
this is the normal vertebra with the flat surface. Look at the vertebra here. The central part is depressed, right? Absolutely. So the next alphabet H. This is your H-shaped vertebra. Okay, the H-shaped vertebra. And where do we see the H-shaped vertebra? Lakshmi, this is not the bullet. Bullet would be something like this. Okay, you would have the narrowing which is happening. So the H-shaped vertebra, basically the vertebra like a H. Why is there the H-shaped vertebra? Because of the central end plate depression. Okay, the central end plate depression. Why is the central end plate getting depressed? Because of the infarct. Okay, because of the infarct. And in which condition we see the infarcts? Multiple infarcts, sickle cell anemia, right? Because of the sickling in the blood vessels, there is this infarct happening. You can see the vertebra here. It is showing your H-shaped vertebra, basically the central depression. This is also called as Lincoln log vertebra. Okay, this is also called as Lincoln log vertebra. Now, this is the initial stage when the entire thing gets infected. So, the uh, end plates will become like this and the vertebra will become biconcave. So, in the later stages, this H-shaped vertebra then becomes biconcave or the codfish vertebra. Codfish is also seen in osteoporosis. So this is basically all this which you see here. This is the central end plate depression that we are seeing there that's the h shape vertebra going to next one can anyone tell me what uh, alphabet based sign are we seeing here what alphabet based sign are we seeing here basically yeah uh, okay if not the sign tell me what is the diagnosis basically in this image So this one, no, it is basically your, the alphabet sign here is, look at the shape of the cella here. Okay, this is the cella that we are seeing here. This is the cella and it has become J-shaped cella. Okay, it has become the J-shaped cella. So basically the next alphabet sign is the J-shaped cella. Along with that, look at the other images. What are we seeing here? This is the pointed proximal metacarpals. These are the metacarpal bones. Look at the proximal pointing and look at the vertebra. What are we seeing in the vertebra? The beak-like thing, the antero-inferior beaking. So what are the various signs that are depicted here? Basically, the J-shaped vertebra, the pointed metacarpals and the antero-inferior beaking. All of these are suggestive of mucopolysaccharidosis. Okay, all of these are suggestive of mucopolysaccharidosis which present with a lot of skeletal deformities so basically in your j-shaped cella normally the cella should be like this okay the cella should be shaped like this this part becomes flat and it becomes your j or the reverse j-shaped cella okay so that is your j-shaped cella which is denoted here this is j and this is the normal one okay this is the normal okay uh, no bullet vertebra we will not call this as a bullet vertebra uh, this is your beaking. Okay, this is your beaking. Bullet vertebra. Okay, this is basically the beaking which is seen, the antero inferior beaking. Next one, what is this alphabet sign here? What is this alphabet sign here? Okay, so yes, this is the lambda sign. Okay, it's the lambda sign basically. So lambda, the next alphabet basically, that is your lambda. And uh, 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 Staffy coming to your query, that is that the bullet vertebra, right? It is the bullet vertebra, which is basically your anterior beaking that is called as bullet vertebra. Can you tell me where else do you see this? The bullet vertebra or the beaking of the vertebra? Where else do we see this apart from mucopolysaccharidosis? Am I able to see the live chart? Right. Very good, Ranisha. It is also seen in achondroplasia where you have the vertebra which is shaped like this. Basically, the beak like this. In mucopolysaccharidosis, you have in hurlers the antero-inferior beaking. In morcues, you have the middle beaking, the central beaking. Okay. 
Okay, what were we discussing? The lambda sign. Okay, this is the lambda sign. Look at this nuclear scan. This is the gallium scan. What sign is depicted here first? What is the diagnosis? These are the lacrimal glands, the salivary glands, the nasopharynx, enlarged lacrimal glands. That is sarcoidosis. Apart from that, we see some uptake here also, basically like a lambda. So these are the mediastinal lymph nodes, the hilar lymph nodes. Classical of sarcoidosis is basically the mediastinal bilateral mediastinal lymph adenopathy. Very, very important. So look at this image also here. Basically, you can see this increased uptake here in the mediastinal region bilaterally lambda sign. And look at the increased uptake in the lacrimal glands also. Sarcoidosis, remember, involves the lacrimal glands. This is basically your lambda sign, the increased uptake. On radiograph, this is what you would see. The enlarged right paratracheal, the right hilar, the left hilar lymph nodes, which is called as 1, 2, 3 sign. Okay, which is called as 1, 2, 3 sign. Going to the next one. Uh, just a minute, something's wrong here. Okay. All right, what is the next image showing here? What are the next signs already written? So again, you have another lambda sign. One lambda sign we saw in uh, sarcoidosis, the other lambda sign and the associated T sign, which are basically seen with the twin pregnancy. Yesterday also we saw in the KBMD, what was the mnemonic? Remember Modi ji ki ki. Right, Modi ji, famous for the T. So remember the monochorionic, M-O is monochorionic, diamniotic gives your T sign. Okay, monochorionic, diamniotic gives your T sign. So monochorionic basically means you have one chorion, horizontal and you have the separating membrane, diamniotic. So this is where you see the T sign, the thin membrane and you have the fetus on each side. That is the T sign. Lambda sign is seen in dichorionic diamniotic twins. So look at the separating membrane. You can see it is going like this, like a lambda. There's a part of chorion going in between the two. And you see the two fetus. Remember, the lambda sign is dichorionic diamniotic. Dichorionic means like this. And you have the separating membrane. So the lambda sign is dichorionic diamniotic. The T sign is monochorionic diamniotic. All right. Okay, next one. What are we seeing here? What are we seeing in this image? What alphabet sign is this? So we have seen the H sign, the J sign, the delta sign, the lambda sign. What do you think? What alphabet sign is depicted here? Very good. Basically, the S sign. Okay, it is basically the S sign, the reverse S sign, the reverse golden S sign or the golden S sign. So, look at the S here. So, what's happening? Basically, there is this blue color which you see here. That is the horizontal fissure which should have been horizontal like this. This horizontal fissure has gone up. Why? Because the right upper lobe has collapsed. So you have the right upper lobe which is collapsed, pulling the fissure up. Why has this right upper lobe collapsed? Because basically there is a mass sitting here which is obstructing its bronchus that is leading to collapse. So what happens to the fissure is in the medial part because of the mass it is not able to come up and that is why in the medial part the fissure is bulging down right. You have the fissure which cannot go up but in the lateral part it has gone up. So that gives the S sign the reverse golden S sign. Most commonly seen in right upper lobe collapse due to mass, which could be hilar lymph node. Very commonly, it could be your bronchogenic carcinoma, basically a hilar mass obstructing the right upper lobe bronchus. Okay, so that is the reverse S sign, the reverse golden S sign. Okay, the reverse golden S sign. Going to the next one, what sign are we seeing here? What is this sign here? What alphabet is this? This is an extra H point which can be asked in your exam, especially the INICT exam. So this is your what alphabet? This is tau, right? So this is, we are talking about the tau sign. Now look at the first MRI image here. What are we seeing? 
what is this structure here anatomically this is the pons fourth ventricle and we have the cerebellum okay now this arrow is pointing to a vessel what vessel comes here what will be this vessel here they, here you have the internal carotid artery pituitary ke aaju baju cavernous sinus mein yahan pe internal carotid artery in front of pons that is the basilar artery so basically there is an abnormal vessel which is connecting the carotid and the basilar your persistent embryological primitive artery basically which is the trigeminal artery the classical sign that we see in the sagittal image look at this one basically from the internal carotid you have a vessel going behind and this is where you have the basilar in front of the pons connecting the internal carotid and the basilar the persistent trigeminal artery right and that is what is your tau sign that is the t sign so remember the tau sign is seen with persistent trigeminal artery okay it is seen with persistent trigeminal artery which is basically the persistent communication in between the anterior and the posterior circulation that is the internal carotid and the basilar artery okay that's a persistent tau sign that's the tau sign okay persistent trigeminal artery trigeminal artery next one what sign are we seeing here what is the next alphabet sign here what is this next alphabet sign here right if you see here there is this lucency very good there is this lucency the air basically forming the v shape you can see this black color air forming the lucency here that is the v sign absolutely right this is the nectarios v sign okay the nectarios v sign which is seen with pneumo media stenum okay the nectarios v sign which is seen with pneumo media stenum and what do we see here is pneumo media stenum means air surrounding the mediastinal structures like the aorta the heart and uh, esophagus all of that so borhaus syndrome esophageal rupture causing pneumo media stenum this is basically the aorta you see this air surrounding the aorta right and it's going here medially and you will see the air coming here air surrounding the aorta air here in between the diaphragm and the pleura that is what forms your nectarios v sign so in the chest x ray basically this is where is the aorta and you have over the diaphragm so this is nectarios v sign which is seen with pneumo media stenum next one what is this mri showing something that we saw in the today morning kbmd session look at the spinal cord what are you seeing in the spinal cord what alphabet sign is this what alphabet sign is this right this is v but it is the ulta v right that is the inverted v sign right the inverted v sign like this in the spinal cord basically indicating the hyper intensity in the dorsal columns and dorsal columns are affected in vitamin b12 deficiency that is your sub acute combined degeneration of the cord right you have the dorsal column affected leading to loss of proprioception loss of vibration right vegetarian diet increased methyl malonic acid all those are the important points for vitamin b12 deficiency that is the inverted v sign okay the inverted v sign coming to next one what is this here and what is the diagnosis what sign is shown here and what's the diagnosis what is the sign shown here and what's the diagnosis look at the arrows again you can see this white lines here you can see this white lines here like the inverted v so this is another inverted v sign which is basically these are the lateral umbilical ligament which are seen very well on the uh, x ray because of air on this side and air on the other side that is basically it is seen in your pneumoperitoneum okay this is a sign we seen in pneumoperitoneum the other sign seen here you can see this falciform ligament also seen very well you can see this uh, area the collection of air in the morrison's pouch all these are other signs of pneumoperitoneum that we are seeing here this is the inverted v sign 
the air surrounding the lateral umbilical ligament all right so these were the top 10 uh alphabet based radiological signs let us quickly revise them what are the alphabets that we saw so the first one is the empty delta sign seen on contrast enhanced ct in dural venous sinus thrombosis that is delta next one is your h shaped vertebra also called as lincoln log vertebra because of the infarct central end plate infarct seen with sickle cell anemia h shaped vertebra then is the j shaped cella remember the j shaped cella ka uh, you have your uh, the J-shaped cellar mnemonic you have is Netherlands Ministry of Health. That is, it can be seen with neurofibromatosis, mucopolysaccharidosis, optic glioma, chiasmal lesion specially, and hydrocephalus. So remember, it's seen with mucopolysaccharidosis. Five percent of normal people. Optic chiasma, glioma, hydrocephalus can show. But along with that, if you see other skeletal features like pointed metacarpals, then you have the beaking or the bullet vertebra, then think of mucopolysaccharidosis. That is J-shape. Next is your lambda, the bilateral mediastinal lymph nodes in sarcoidosis. And you also have the panda sign. Okay, the panda sign, the enlarged glands. And you have chest x ray 1, 2, 3 sign. The T sign, monochorionic, diamniotic, the lambda sign, dichorionic, diamniotic. Golden S sign, basically the mass causing the collapse, leading to the upward pull. And here there is the push on the fissure. Then you have this abnormal vessel connecting the carotid and basilar, the trigeminal artery. And that gives on the sagittal image, it gives your tau sign, right? The tau sign, persistent trigeminal artery. Then you have the V sign. The neclerios we sign, the air surrounding the aorta and in the diaphragm, between the diaphragm, pneumomediastinum, neclerios we sign. Then you have the inverted V sign, spinal cord, posterior column, that is SACD, B12 deficiency. Inverted V sign on the abdominal x-ray, that is your lateral umbilical ligament surrounded by air, that is pneumoperitoneum okay that is pneumoperitoneum so these are the various alphabet signs the most important i've chosen the ones which are important for your exam as well right so that was for today we'll be uh, meeting next year on uh, now 2nd of april for the special classes and on 1st of april we have the plus class of uh, musculoskeletal radiology three hours of musculoskeletal radiology dedicated class it will start at 7 p.m. all for the plus subscribers. The special classes will resume from 2nd April. And we also have the uh, INICT course also starting from 2nd of April, the INICT division of radiology. Okay. This is again for the plus subscribers. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. So that was a quick session. Thank you, Staffy. And thank you, everyone, for joining in. Goodbye. Take care and keep studying, keep revising, and keep.